Warning, the following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. <laughs> And here we go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Samrak. I'm Juniqua. I'm Zara. We are about to start <gasps> a comedy special. Yes. With somebody without a bucket hat today. Oh. <laughs> Where'd it go? Look at this. Be? Be? <laughs> Long hair, don't care? Yeah, it's yeah. that time. It's that time? It's been getting hot lately, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I'm wearing a jacket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this uh, comedy special here of Bert Kreischer. I've never seen him. I uh, hope I'm saying it right. Mm -hmm. Bert Kreischer, Secret Time. It's a special from 2018. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of him? No. Have you heard of him? When I when I was trying to like know how to spell his name and all that, I saw this picture. I was like, okay, I've seen him. He's friends with like Tom Segura. They have a podcast, Two Bears, One Cave. Yeah. So I you know, know you know of him, but you've never seen any I've stand up. I've seen him because we watched Tom Segura, and so they're like friends. Okay, but you've never seen any of his stand up. Mm. Like, yeah. So I'll be ready for this one. I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what he, you know. So. Very yeah. ready. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is again Bert Kreischer, Secret Time from 2018. So if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe, also hit the <laughs> notification bell. All right, let's do it. And here we go. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen him. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Merch. Oh. <laughs> Souvenir. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah. Lower your expectations, Philly. <laughs> Really? We're just getting drunk and telling secrets. <laughs> Secret time. <laughs> Secret time. <laughs> Secret time. When I get out of the shower, I dry my asshole on the bed. Bam. Secret time. <laughs> Secret time. Sometimes when I wipe my ass, I spit on the toilet paper. It's called an Alabama wet wipe. Secret time. <laughs> Secret time when my wife has an orgasm, she looks like Elvis. Her, 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 her. <laughs> oh my goodness. Secret time. <laughs> There's really a lot of secrets here. I love my wife. Uh, sometimes when my wife's blowing me, I feel like she's gagging for the wrong reason. Just down there trying to hold it together like a rookie in a hot dog eating contest. Just, brruh, 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 brruh. Staring into my belly like a woman lost in the desert. Just, oh, oh. Listen to me going in out of sleep apnea throat. Slower, slower, slower. slower. Oh, I'm really big, huh? She's a good mom. <laughs> Couldn't give a hand job to save her life. Seriously, if someone broke into our house and lined up our whole family on the couch, it was like, I'm gonna kill every motherfucker in here! Unless one of you can give me a semi-tolerable. <laughs> like on a scale of one to ten, like a three kind of earthy hand job. <laughs> I'd still be like, honey, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Stop crying, girls. We're going to be just fine. <laughs> Keep your hands in your pocket, Leanne. Leanne's Last hand job I got from her, October 7th, 2017. He knows. Oh, I remember it. I was sober that month. <laughs> oh. Getting a sober hand job is a lot like getting molested at camp. <laughs> I wanted to have sex. I started by going, hey, let's bang one out real quick. And she was like, I, I don't want to have sex. And I was like, all right, I'll just take a blowjob. <laughs> Apparently, that's an upsell. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Oh, oh, you don't like the Volkswagen? Try the BMW. <laughs> so we settled on a Kia. That's a hand job in the afternoon. 
The second it started, I was like, I immediately regret this decision. <laughs> Son is filling the room. I'm laying on the bed. She's sitting next to me, crisscross applesauce, <laughs> fully dressed with a smile like it's her first time rolling dice. Just. <laughs> I'm like, stop staring at me. She's like, huh? I go, we're making eye contact. You're staring into my soul. It hurts. She's like, what should I look at? You want me to look at it? I go, dab for all I fucking care. She is a good mom. I'm a shit dad. I don't hit him, you know, and stuff, but I'm a shit dad. Do you remember when you, you were a kid? And you'd hear your parents talking about really bad parents, like, oh my gosh, Amy Stevens' mom was drunk dropping her off at school the other day. And you're like, whoa, how does that happen? And then you become a parent, you're like, oh, I know how that happens. <laughs> I've definitely been there. Stop drinking at three, wake up at seven for drop off, get in the car, you're like, whoa. <laughs> Who wants to take an Uber today, huh? We can get donuts if we don't tell mom about it. This is how bad of a parent I am. I went to a parent-teacher conference, stayed out until four in the morning. Conference starts at 7.30 in the wow. morning. I wake up, I'm like, oh fuck, I, I make a cup of coffee, I grab two Diet Cokes, go to the parent-teacher conference, kill the coffee before the conference even starts. Sit down for the conference, crack my Diet Coke, take a sip and realize I have a Coors Light. <laughs> That is a game time decision, gentlemen. Yeah. The second I felt the beer touch my tongue, ho, 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 ho. Yeah. That's like a finger in your ass in an orgy. <laughs> what kind of man are you? Do you pull away from it or do you push back into it? <laughs> yeah, I pushed back into it and I killed that fucking Coors Light. Mm. Reach into my pocket and pray I had another Coors Light. Oh. So who the fuck wants a Diet Coke if you just had a Coors Light? I don't hit them. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. I don't hit my kids. We live in L.A., so when they misbehave, we, we have to put them in the corner and urinate on them. <laughs> just kidding. Someone's going to take that fucking for real. They're like, you really piss on your fucking kids? <laughs> I don't hit them. Uh, I got hit. Not a lot. I got spanked a couple times in my life. And all I know is that you do not want, man, spanking saw. You grew up in Philly, you know, you still get hit. <laughs> I remember the first time I ever got spanked. My sister's fourth birthday party, I was six years old. They're singing happy birthday, she goes in to blow out the candles and I'm like, oh, and kiss the cake, <laughs> Dude, it killed so hard. The clown was laughing, he's like, oh, this kid's got chops. <laughs> It kills so hard that my dad's like, yo, I got to talk to you in the garage. I was like, yeah, if you're going to high five me, we should probably do it out there. <laughs> She's a little worked up. And then we get into the garage. He's like, yo, pull your pants down. I was like, hold on, slow down for a second. <laughs> I was like, we both agree this was funny, but I wouldn't go sucking my dick over it. <laughs> and then he spanked me. Spank me and then just like nothing happened. Pull your pants up. Let's go back into the party. I was like, oh, I don't feel like partying anymore. <laughs> he never, never got my personality, still doesn't get my personality. Like even today as men, I called him up the other morning, early in the morning, LA time. He's in Florida. He goes, what are you doing awake? I said, oh, I had a bad dream. It's silent. He just goes, whoa, you still dream? I go, yeah, I dream. I go, you don't dream? He goes, no, I don't dream. I'm a fucking man. <laughs> I go to sleep because I'm tired from working all day. And I sleep because I have to work the next day. What do you dream about, ponies and shit? <laughs> I was like, yeah, sometimes. He goes, oh, I'd love to have your job. All you got to do is get drunk as fuck and tell secrets. <laughs> Secret time. My dad hit me when I was a kid. Secret time. Secret time. One time my dad shit his pants on a Banana Republic. Secret time. That's true. That's actually true. 100% true. Swear to God, the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday, or Brown Friday as we call it. Oh. 
We go to Banana Republic, I grab a sweater and a leather jacket. The sweater's for him. I get in line, I go, yo, watch my kids. He's like, all right. Then he comes back without my kids. I go, where are my kids? He's like, fuck your kids, buddy. We got a problem. <laughs> I was like, what? And he goes, I think I'm going to shit my pants. What do I do? I was like, stop what? making eye contact with me, stranger. <laughs> and then he shit his pants. And I saw it happen in his eyes. Just, huh, I shit my pants. <laughs> He makes a beeline out of B-Raps, comes, my mom and my wife come up, and they're like, where's dad? I was like, dad just shit his pants. My mom jumped on it like a soldier. She was like, someone get him a new pair of khakis, 3830, I'm gonna go find him. On it. I was like, does this happen a lot? He does not find me funny. I've only made him laugh one time. <laughs>